Hi, I'm Eric Andrusiak, oboist with the Civic Orchestra of Chicago. When setting up myself for a successful practice session, I always make sure I have clear goals of what I want to accomplish, both short-term and long-term. I also try to make sure I have a good practice environment. That means I turn my phone to airplane mode and practice away from computer or TV or anything like that to avoid any possible distractions. Lastly, I always carry a tuner and metronome in my case so I can check my intonation and rhythm quickly and easily as I'm practicing. I also have a recording device to play back and give myself immediate feedback. I start with a scale of the day, for example, G major, playing through it slowly and concentrating on having each note having a beautiful, easy, and resonant sound. There should be a smooth legato between each note. Move your fingers carefully and with precision, keeping them close to the oboe, and don't let the air die between the notes. Doing a warm-up is also important for building up a good endurance. Endurance is a big part of being an oboist or any wind player. The most important thing is to be consistent with your practice and warm-up. Set aside a time each day to practice and make it a habit. As an oboist, I also make sure to leave enough time in my practice sessions to work on my reads. Once I'm done with my warm-up, I usually tackle my tough passages first. For example, with the opening of Tombeau de Couperin, I try to think of the character first. The mood is serene, maybe even melancholy. This will immediately influence my approach to the excerpt, especially the tempo, so that I won't play it too fast. It's better to play extremely beautifully than to play extremely fast. Next, I'll find what about this excerpt makes it so difficult. Starting the first note, keeping consistent time and accuracy are some of my weaknesses with this one. So to start it off well, I like to first just play an A with a relatively soft articulation. This helps me know where the reed's limits are. Next, I'll play the same A, then continue with a few bars like this. This helps to connect that feeling of controlled soft articulation with the other notes. It's okay to ease into the first note before going on. Better that than a big accent. For accuracy and tempo consistency, I like to use a technique that I've heard called ninja fingers. So practicing fast passages at an extremely slow tempo, maybe even a quarter tempo, but move your fingers quickly like this. You can do this with or without playing the oboe, actually. The key with this technique is to keep your fingers close to the oboe, being as relaxed as possible. As you get comfortable playing very evenly at a very slow tempo, you can start going a little faster, but make sure you relax and don't tense up. Finally, don't forget to make music. Find the beauty in each note and phrase, and think about the characters and moods for each piece. And remember why you're practicing in the first place. Play for others, listen to your colleagues play, and even play with each other. You can learn just as much outside the practice room from your colleagues. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Go check out one of the other awesome practice tips videos and have fun practicing.